Sassy lady. I didn't realize Kazooie was a girl until like the pretty much like the end of this game. <laughs> first time, first time I played it. Because uh, how was I supposed to know? Because every other fucking media in the goddamn world genders animals really with long, with long eyelashes, eyelashes. And pink bows. Yeah, so I was like, oh, it's probably a boy because it does not have those things. Oh, yeah. it's, oh, it's, <laughs> oh Kaylin's on me. It's a cute like Jinjo Mumbo. <laughs> It's Brentilda. So you're like, that's obviously a girl. She's got a dress on. She's wearing pink. But mm -hmm. it's like, so I didn't know Kazooie was a girl because like, where's her ponytail? Where's, <laughs> where's her lipstick? Like all these like gender signifiers are not on Kazooie, which I appreciate as an adult. Okay, we have to remember these. They will help us avoid a fiery fate and all she does is uh, gossip about her sister. Moldy cheese flavored. Got it. Baked beans. It's probably good for your roots, though. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the, the dirt. Are they always the same? No, they change. Oh my god. They change between um between files. Wow. So there's there's three each. Okay. I think. Like the more I played the game, the harder it was to, to do those right because because right. <laughs> I would mix them all up. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh, I almost forgot to get Leaky. I think his name's Leaky. Oh yeah. He's just a cauldron. Oh, he's just a magic cauldron. He doesn't have a, a name. <laughs> There's a mumbo token. That was right. Bam. Bam. I'm impressing you tonight. Mm hmm. Big ol' lump. <laughs> That's me right now. Uh, let's go up here, why not? Isn't there a. Yeah, there's a thing to the right you can also unlock. Mm. Oh my god, controls. Well, I'll just do this one later. I don't want to do this one yet. Yeah. I was thinking it was the, I was thinking it was the bottom one actually. I thought the cauldron was on the top one. I misremembered it. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so non-committal. <laughs> okay, Banjo and Kazooie are gonna come through here, and you gotta scare the shit out of them, like, make them feel like they're gonna die. Okay. Rawr. 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 Oh, there's no, uh, no golden feathers up here yet. Just imagine some of the monsters in Silent Hill being like that. <laughs> Rawr. <unenthused laughs> about their job. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> No pyramids here. Uh. Meh. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, James. Let's come back here. <laughs> <laughs> come back here, James. I'm torturing you. <laughs> I love this all. You like my glasses, Snake? Whatever. Whatever. Hi, brother. Hey. Rah. <laughs> 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 Fucking Ocelot in the third row and just be like, meow. <laughs> Uh, how many times do you have to drop eggs out your butt? Only a handful of times in this game. Alright, here's the scariest character in all of gaming uh... history. Here he is. Oh, oh damn it! He got gotcha. you. He got me. That's alright. Yeah, this was like my first foray into survival horror was <laughs> this, this particular level of uh, banjo. It's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Let's go get feather. I like how the feathers talk. Whee! <laughs> hey, it's a boss. <laughs> Let's 
scary about the shark is it like makes that like Jaws knockoff <laughs> yeah. theme and like that's like terrifying. Gotta peck him in the eyeballs. And he does the same extremely easy pattern <laughs> three times. <laughs> eh. So while oh, we're here, Mumbo token. Ah. I'm membrane. I think there's also a yeah, there's a token down that way. Um Yeah, there's also you can actually kill Snacker, the shark. Really? Yes. Hmm. Very Oh shit. Very secret 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 that I know. Get the get the thing. <laughs> Well, uh huh. He's gotta be awful to like eat with because he must make the loudest swallowing noises. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what is the pooping? It's not that one. Press Y. It's B. Oh, okay. You can also, recollect. Oh my them. god, look at that. Whoa, <laughs> that, that's, that's strong bottles right there. <laughs> okay, where are you, buddy? Hey. Come back. Oh, I did it wrong again. Oh my god. You can hit him. But can you actually like kill him? Yeah, you can kill him. He comes right back though, right? Whoa! Look at that! And he stays on for a little bit. Holy moly! Isn't that crazy? Tips and tricks. <laughs> Tips and tricks. Did you know because of the release of the the NES Mini, uh, Nintendo reopened the Nintendo Hotline for like a day? Oh yeah, I heard about. It's just that. like an automated <laughs> telephone line. <laughs> Cute. It's still cute though. I guess like when you called the the phone line sometimes you could like get stories that from people who actually worked on the the hotline Oh, like like stories from when they worked there or whatever. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I thought Kazooie would uh, look like if <laughs> oh, she no. were if she were a girl uh, It would look like that like fucking big idiot titties and stuff like that <laughs> oh, Did you just lose sound cuz I did Wait, sound? What? I don't hear. It. Did my did my thingy come out? Oh yeah, it it. Oh. It's sensitive to being. I just saw. Oh about. no, in the chat. So I thought something wrong. You meant there was something no, wrong. No, no, me. It was the, me. Okay. Idiot titties. I, I was <laughs> freaking out that something bad happened. No, with the stream. I just thought like something went wrong with my AV, which is true. It did. Mm -hmm. It got jiggled just a little tiny bit. Ah. Uh. Look, there's Captain Blubber. There he is. See, I don't have a great uh, strategy for this area, though. Right, you don't have the route. I don't have like this. Out. I don't have the route because it's such a circular level. Yeah. I'm glad they teach you how to fly so early in the game. Yeah. Like, it'd be really annoying. How? If, like, you had to wait a while. I just had a thought. How would you feel about Banjo and Kazooie being in Skylanders? They, they aren't, though, are they? They aren't. I would hate it. Okay. <laughs> because look what they did to Spyro. Uh, but what if them being in Skylanders means there's a chance they would be in the Skylanders cartoon? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You saw what they did to Crash, mate! You saw what they did to Crash, mate! I sure did. You saw what he did to Crash! To Crash. Crash Bandicoot! Good eye, Spora! <laughs> wow, Crash is so cool! I'm Spyro, hi! Wow, Crash, he's so cool! Crash is- or not Crash, uh... 
Spyro's voice is so deep in that show. I don't know how old he's supposed to be. Hey kids, I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Spyro and I have to pay taxes today. Come watch me do my tax filings. I just like, I mean like when he was, um... Right, give him the gold there. When he was in the, uh, when he was in like the first... When he was in his, his normal games, he was, he was a little dragon. He, he was voiced by Tom Kenny, and you know, he had a little <laughs> dragon voice, and you know, he's just kind of a little dude, and he's kind of cute. And, mm -hmm. like, it was canon that he was a young dragon. Like, and that's why he didn't get zapped in the first game into being right. a petrified statue, it's because he was, like, the youngest dragon or something. Yep. Uh, so I was like, oh, well, he's like a kid. He's like, I don't know, 10 or 12 or something in dragon years. I don't know. But And then like I thought like, oh, maybe one day he'll, he'll grow up and be a big dragon But maybe he did grow up and turn up to be a Skylander and maybe. he's actually like, you know He's actually 40 now, but he yeah. just never grew <laughs> But his voice still got deeper Man, it was so hard for me to uh, to put into words that stupid thing I just said. Well, it wasn't, Skylanders it wasn't even worth saying. Pretty dumb. In conclusion, Skylanders is pretty dumb. Uh, I still feel kind of, like, weird that, like, so many celebrities voice characters in Skylanders. I can't believe Susan Sarandon is in Sarandon's it. Susan Sarandon's in it. Doesn't she have better stuff to do? And then, like, fucking Norm Macdonald's in it, and that's weird also. Spyro's the so I'm weird. a Mac guy. <laughs> Jason Long. Jason Long. He was in Live Free or Die Hard. There's only two moves in this place. Kaboingi? Me leaky, Yo, no good up. for water. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to realize, like, oh, his name is Leaky, and also he's Leaky. <laughs> I don't know how that makes any sense. Like, that stumped me for a while because I was like, well, I don't have anything I to could fix imagine that. that stumping people for a long time, yeah. Because, like, my eggs don't, like... They're just eggs. They don't like hold things together or patch holes up or mm -hmm. anything like that. I found that confusing as a young child. They call me Snips. <laughs> wow. Uh, I wonder what I have to do in this room. <laughs> mm. It's a children's game. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's for babies. Let's see if I kind of remember where these things are. Yeah, there's Jay in the corner. This is also where you input a lot of cheat codes. Mm -hmm. uh, aren't there some cheat codes that basically aren't listed anywhere? Yeah, in you have thing? to do it all backwards and shit. Wow. That was like something I remember doing is make trying to use my own codes and wondering mm. if it'll work. First I'll cut you down to size. Murder. <laughs> Citizen snips. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he was in crab jail. Ah, uh, but yeah, there's... There's one... I wonder if I can do it. Do I have to write in, like, cheat first? Mm-hmm. Yeah, moo! <laughs> I forgot Whoa, it did what? that. What? I never heard that. It's Cheeto, right? Oh, no, it's just cheat. Huh. 
Whatever. It's going to take too long. Yeah, it takes forever to it input It takes so codes. long to put cheat codes in there. I was going to put in give the bear lots of air, because that's the most useful one. Oh, just infinite air, right? Infinite air. Yeah. You don't have to worry about breathing underwater, ever. Which is super um, good for stuff like... You can also turn it into like a washing machine, rusty right? Rusty bucket Yeah, wishy-washy banjo. Which isn't used for anything in this game, but it is in the second, right? It is in the second game, yeah. yes. Oh, I forgot that was there. Is there like Grunty Industries that use the washing machine? Yeah, it was, it was Grunty Industries. God, Grunty only, Industries. It's such a nightmare like, level. That fucking level took it's, me like six hours to complete. It was that, so fucking huge. That level is a it nightmare game It took me like three design. hours before I f was able to get my first Jiggy. Because it's just so big. Mm -hmm. It's I ridiculous. Oh, Spyro oh, was Oh, he's ones. a cute Spyro. Yeah, um... I, I mean, think Grunty Industries is like a poorly designed level. I mean, you watched me play mean. it, and I was just like, what the fuck is this level? I think it's actually, uh, too mean. The only- I think the only other level I would say I might dislike as much as Grunty Industries is, uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah. Cloud Cuckoo Land is just not fun. It, it wasn't super fun, and also it's so, it was like, like- British humor. It was very- it felt very Monty Python to me, which is like anti-humor. For yeah, me. agreed. That's gonna be a controversial opinion, by the way. I know. Everyone has like a huge boner for Monty Python, and I don't get it. Oh no, it's old Spyro filing his taxes. So That's sad. me, kid Spyro. You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> and how I got this accent. <laughs> I used to be well, cute. it's a long story, but it's, let's go all the way back to 1995, <laughs> when I was first enlisted in the Skylanders Academy. <laughs> yeah, it went just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I had just broken up with my girlfriend, Cinder. <laughs> After breaking up with my previous girlfriend, Elora. <laughs> I remember being a single young buck loser who just lost my friend to Fuck, what what was uh fucking Oh, who Bianca. Was he Bianca, yeah. Bianca the rabbit. I lost my best friend to Bianca the Rabbit. Because All I'm a alone. man that was formerly going his own way. <laughs> with dragon going his own way. <laughs> There was a dark six month period when all I would do was just play video poker. <laughs> oh my god. Poor Spyro. Day after day. <laughs> oh, smoking me. my life away. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm a dragon. So smoke, and fire, and such. Turns out it was okay for my health. <laughs> it was good for me. Uh, a funny thing that I kind of like to do in this level, but I won't do it this time because I did it out of order because I forgot I like to do ah. this, is I like to get this jiggy last and then fling myself off the, t the tippy top <laughs> of this thing because it's like a huge fall mm -hmm. and it murderizes you. But since you collected all the things, it doesn't matter if it oh. murderizes you. But we're going to be careful. We're, we're good boys that don't want to die. <laughs> uh, Lord, Lord Trine, I guess I, my, that voice I'm doing is Edna, big head. Edna. <laughs> From uh, Rocco. Uh, I have not watched Rocco in a long time, and oh, I- Oh, Ed! I bet it's- I hope it still holds up, because I remember it being fucking funny. Uh, I bet, like, now that we're adults, uh, uh, Rocco's Australian accent doesn't- doesn't do it. <laughs> oh, I think I'll love it. <laughs> oh, I think I love it. I, I like bad Australian accents, so you know. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, did you see the faces I was making? I mean, you tweeted the faces I was making while watching Crash and Skylanders. I was loving it. Yes, you were. That's true. You were very happy. At least Crash still looked like Crash, you know? He, he looked good. He looked good. Like Crash, visually, you Crash look looked good. fine. You look healthy. He's he you was way out. better than the last design that was used for Crash in in his video games, where he had oh, fucking shit. tribal tattoos. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah, That's I didn't. Dumb. I didn't notice any tribal tats on him. 
The pressing box says Rocco's humor is super bleak going back to it. <laughs> well, that sounds about right now. Uh, I'm into bleakness right now. <laughs> There's a there's honeycomb over there. Mm. Mm. Come back to this later. There's another jiggy that's over there anyhow. Oops. No, that works. I got scared and I doubled back. I don't know why. That's not logical. Mm. Not a logical decision there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same height both ways. Oops. Whoa. I keep fucking it. Strange decision to make it so that you can move during that first little jump. Mm. Are some Rocco skits ripped straight from Monty Python? I don't know. Hmm. If this were Snopes, <laughs> I'd be like, hmm. If this were Mythbusters, I'd be like, hmm, I don't know. Ah. Oh, I'm, wow, I did it. I'm, I'm, I'm always slightly grateful that I never got to play this game as a kid. Uh, oh, that is sad. Because sad. I bet I would have heavily associated this game with uh, eating honeycomb cereal. <laughs> Like, I probably, like, as a kid, I probably would've went, Oh, I know what I'm gonna- I wanna eat while playing this game. <laughs> fucking honeycomb. honeycomb. Fucking honeycomb. I never liked honeycomb. I still like honeycomb. I, I think it's horrible. I don't understand what you see in it. Uh, I don't know. I like it. I mean, I still like a lot of kids' cereal that's, like, bad. <laughs> there are a couple that I don't like anymore. Uh... Well, I always had a love-hate relationship with uh, Reese's cereal. Yeah, well... It's pretty gross. I had too much and I got sick, so that's Yeah, why. that was definitely a cereal where <laughs> if you ate a lot of it, you might puke. Yeah. Like, and it's begging for you to eat a lot of it because it tastes like candy. Like, whenever I f would first get a box of that cereal, I would always be like, Oh, sweet! And then, like, halfway <laughs> through the box, like, a week later, I would be like, I don't want any more of this. This is it terrible. It makes my throat burn a little. Like, it still does. If I ever had that Reese's cereal, like, I will get, like, like, my throat will burn a little. Like, my esophagus will burn a little. It's just it's like, a... there's something about it. It's just like when I eat, uh, fucking Pop-Tarts. If I eat Pop-Tarts, my throat burns a little afterwards. That, that's weird. It's, I get, like, a really mild amount of acid reflux or something when I, I eat any of those. There's just some ingredient in there. This part used to stress me out so bad as a kid, because Snacker. Snacker, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think if there are any, like... Things in games I was really afraid of when I was a kid. It really spooked you. I was yeah. spooked by a bunch of stuff in this game. I mean, I know everybody was always afraid that Eel in Mario 64. He's and... really scary. Uh... Oh, I wiggled my thing again. Oh. Also, the. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's wow. Well, we. <laughs> I'm only 19. I've already wasted my entire life. Uh. Everybody was afraid that Eel. He was like really fucked up. Looking. I wasn't. Oh, and people were also afraid of the piano in that boo house, right? Uh, boo I wasn't afraid of it, but it did definitely startle me. Okay, I know some people that were like afraid of that. I wasn't piano. afraid of it, like I dreaded the, the eel. I never played Mario 64 as a kid. Oh, well, I've that's why never, you weren't afraid of the eel, then you weren't a child. I've, I've still never beaten it either. I was playing it a wow. bunch like a year ago, really? but I, I just haven't finished it. Wow. Got a fake gamer boy over here, never be Mario 64. Do you mean like 100% or like even? Like straight up, I've never beaten the whole game. Oh wow, I didn't know that. That playthrough you saw me doing a little bit of, bit of like a year ago, that was basically Man, my first time ever playing beyond like, the first world of Super Mario 64. I don't remember these things. Like first time you played this was in front of me. I don't know. Oh, these mines used to scare me too. Uh, they used to scare uh, H Bomber guy too. He talked about that in his Dark Souls video. Oh really? Did you actually watch that video? I thought It was an hour and a half long and it was fascinating. I don't give a fucking shit about Dark Souls, uh -huh. and I thought it was really, really interesting, actually. Okay. Safety. Was it- or was it Bloodborne? Was Bloodborne, it Bloodborne, Dark Souls, all okay. of them. Those are the Souls games. Okay. Look at him. Look at him. Spooky boy! Oh, actually, I want to say things that actually scared me. Look at him! Uh, the... Redeads in Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, they're creep scary. They're scary. They have a pretty scary scream and they're pretty creepy looking. 
getting revenge on all the scary things, guys. It takes a lot of courage. Look I'm at proud that. Of you. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't ever be afraid. If you're ever afraid of something, just turn your back and shit on it a bunch because uh, that'll probably <laughs> kill it. That's true, though. Turn your back on it and shit on it. That's how you <laughs> conquer your fears. Uh, Indestructible Cat, I didn't play Ocarina of Time until I was 14. So I was less scared of that stuff back then. Meanwhile, I played uh, okay, I Wind Waker. Well, actually, how old? I played Wind Waker when I was like 13? I think I was so about 13 this, too. I played it soon after launch. Like, I got a GameCube for that game in Mario Sunshine. Mm. Uh, but I, I never owned an N64 as a kid. Like, I got to play. N64 games with my friend Kyle in his his basement when I'd be at my grandma's house during the summer and stuff. But um, why ain't he I coming never, for me? Why ain't he coming for me? Whoa! I never uh, got to play single player games. Really, it was always multiplayer stuff. So it was like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark and Smash Brothers. I think I got to play a little bit of the co-op mode of Jet Force Gemini, but like it sucked. The co-op mode, because he was mm. just like a little guy who floated around the guy who had all the cool guns and all I could do was like oh, zap stuff. That's dumb. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh I didn't really play that game. Fuck! I own Jet Force Gemini, I still haven't played it yet. Uh all I know now is that the controls are gonna be awful. Oh, and, barely, look at that. I squeaked by there. And that, that was I, dramatic. I've heard the game is like incredibly hard. Um, I've always meant to play it though. It's rare too, right? Yep, it's a rare game. Yeah. There's a poster of Jet Force Gemini characters in Bottles' house in the second game. I like that cereal. Banjos. <laughs> <laughs> Goes with the cereal chat. <laughs> can't do the bee dive until freezes you peak. Mm. So you can't be all quick about this. Oh, let's visit a shark bait island, shark food island. Mm. So this was one of the stop and swap mysteries. Mm. Mystery of shark bait island. Shark food island, excuse me. But yeah, they're just like, what's this for? Mm -hmm. And it was just this island in the middle of the ocean, way too far out to swim to, because Snacker would get you, and... You know, it was just real, real mysterious. And as a kid, I was just like, there's gotta be so I gotta... There's gotta be something I could do. <laughs> oh no, the Oh redesigns. no, that's their redesign. That's what they would look like, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they, it's... I mean, just like Spyro, they just all look like they've been punched in the nose so hard their face <laughs> got flattened. <laughs> Fucking true. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is. <laughs> Kids game. 100%. Congratulations. Please open me gently. There's so many game theories about Shark Shark Food Islands. Oh, Mumbo Token. Yep. Oh yeah, oh, Dead God, Hand dead in hands. Ocarina of Time. That, okay, that thing oh, actually scared me when I played it. That was it. actually really scary. He's still creepy. I love him. He's he's a cool mm -hmm, design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is really cool. I hope there's weird creepy stuff in the new Zelda. Yeah, same. That'd be great. Needs to go back to its survival horror roots. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Oh, there's one other thing. Oh, that's right, yeah, because my I played N64 games with all my friends, but it was always, you know, multiplayer stuff, so I never got to play Ocarina of Time or Mario 64. I don't even... No, he owned those, I think. Um, I got to play Ocarina of Time at my, my friend's, my neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. And GoldenEye and stuff like that. I hated GoldenEye, though. They liked playing GoldenEye, like, all the time. I played it a shitload, too. And I was like, eh. Cause they were just like too good at it. Oh yeah. And sometimes when I was doing really good, they would team up against me. It's Ugh. like, man, fr friends. That's I don't shitty. Know. They were they were little boys, so of course they would. My friend they were, and like, I two years never really like me. played against each other. We would always just like pl 
I think this was in Perfect Dark. Maybe it was Skull Knight too. We would just because they had like really high amount of customization for like the AI and behaviors of mm. the the bot enemies you could populate the game with. So we would like do these stupid matches where it's like, okay, the only weapon is the slapper, which is just yeah. you just slap people with your hand and make everybody's vision really fucked up and blurry. Yeah. So we just run around slapping each other in the fucking face over and over again. <laughs> that was really fun. We also used to play Lights Out in Goldeneye, which is just you ran you ran around the the level as quick as you could and tried to break all the lights with your, oh, your yeah. pistol. Oh yeah. Just making games for ourselves in the game. Yeah. I mean, that was part of the fun of Gold Knight Perfect Dark, is that you could do a lot of that style mm -hmm. stuff, and, like, they had a lot of game modes and stuff, like... There's actually a 360 port of Perfect Dark that I own, I think, that I've never played. I should play that sometime. Uh huh. Oh, man, fucking Kirby 64. I was getting uh, Chip to play Kirby 64, but it's pretty much the Dark Souls of Kirby, uh. so he was having a hard time enjoying himself. I, know, I need to get back to playing him. Like, I'm, like, more than halfway through. You're really through. close to the end. I was pretty end. close to the end. I was, yeah. Like, it's just not the, the style of Kirby I like, because it's, like, the slowest Kirby game the, I've the, ever played. The minigames are, like, really good. Oh, I bet. The, Kirby, the minigames and Kirby games are usually pretty good and fun. I, I love the ones in Superstar, even though they're really bare bones. They're like, they're so brutal, some of them. 